Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or hi, hello if you are new here. I hope you'll stick around to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and give this one a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And don't forget to check the description box below to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you're not following me over there, you might want to because I do all of my vape giveaways over there. So any extra stuff that companies send me, I do giveaways over there. They're not allowed here on YouTube. I do also have a vape Patreon account. So the monthly rewards are vape stuff depending on what tier you join that is also linked below as well as my second youtube channel where i do non-vape related stuff i bring my other interests and hobbies to the internet land and don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you get notified whenever i upload a new video being a subscriber does not always guarantee you're going to see it in your subscription feed so weird right but let's just get right into the video. I have some e-liquids here. They are overcast e-liquids. So I'm assuming that they all come in a box like this. However, this is the only one that I got in the actual box. So I wanted to show you the box itself. So overcast premium liquids. This flavor is Becky and they do have the warning on them on several sides of the box. So overcast e-liquid. This is a 60 ml bottle in this box and they are zero milligrams nicotine for me personally. And here is the bottle itself. So all the bottles look like this. And this Becky flavor is, let me check the flavor menu they sent me, amazing blend of strawberry, pear, honeydew, and dragon fruit. And you could head over to overcastliquids.com and pick up these 60 ml bottles right now for $20, or you can use my coupon code Tia Vapes if you're a first time customer for 50% off. They told me they were going to be running a promo code for my viewers, so use Tia Vapes for 50% off. $20 for a 60 ml available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine and it looks like 60 ml is all that they offer. I'll show you the other flavors I'm gonna try today. We have blue raspberry cotton candy, which is self-explanatory. We have king cake, which is strawberry filled king cake, which is a Mardi Gras tradition, but I don't know anything about that myself personally. And then I'm also going to try something kind of out of my flavor profile range personally. This is called Crack Dragon. It is an energy drink flavor with a hint of dragon fruit. So I'm gonna try that. And they also have pelican ice, which I don't have here today, refreshing after dinner mint. And then they also have spearmint, which is a refreshing spearmint flavor. Strawberry kiwi, which is not on their flavor menu, but pretty self-explanatory. And take the cake. Are you coming for me, Overcast Liquids? Are you coming for my brand? This flavor is a strawberry cake batter flavor. Now, I don't know about you guys, but somebody else makes a strawberry cake batter flavor too, and it's real good. And so this is the first time I'm actually seeing a company make a strawberry cake batter flavor, like it legit says sweet strawberry cake batter on their flavor profile card. So I'm like, I don't think it would be fair for me to try this flavor and like give you guys an opinion on the video. That's why I chose to do Crack Dragon instead because they wanted me to highlight these other flavors, which I am more than happy to do. But um, this one, it's exact like my flavor is strawberry cake better. So, you know, I'm going to try it anyway because I want to um, I want to see how it compares to my flavor. Um, but it's not gonna be in this video. <laughs> I don't know if that would be fair, you know, cause I'm, art, I'm like biased. I'm not biased, but like my flavor, my only one is strawberry cake matter. So don't come for me overcast liquids. Anyways, let's get right in the video. I don't know which one I should try first. I'm thinking Becky or the blue raspberry. Um, let's do the blue. No, I always like when I, when I have like a bunch of flavors that I really wanna try, I always, have a hard time picking who goes first. We'll do Becky, cause I knew this bitch named Becky. She liked to talk real sexy fucking nasty bitch. I'm going, okay, yeah, I watched too much TikTok. All right, I got some fresh cotton here on my RDA. I get a lot of questions about my flavor testing setup cause it's always literally the same thing. It's my Terminus RDA by Aria Built and an old, really like old, like two years maybe. A Kanger Tech mod called the Vola, but like Kanger Tech is one of those companies that said bye to me while I was pregnant, so girl salty. Mmm. -hmm. This smells really good, so I'm getting the pear honeydew and maybe a little bit of strawberry, but dragon fruit is such a light flavor. 
by itself that I rarely ever smell it or taste it. That's just me though, but it's, it smells very deliciously fruity. Ooh, the strawberry and pear really come out and work together in this vape. The strawberries are actually freaking phenomenal. Mmm. Okay. This is really fruity, lightly sweet, a very good summertime vape. Mmm. It just, that strawberry is amazing. <laughs> Again, I feel like dragon fruit is kind of drowned out by all the other flavors. Honeydew would be the next one to be like the lighter flavor of the concoction. And then we've got pear, it's a crisp pear. And then we got this sweet, juicy, just almost sugary strawberry that I really like, but not sugary. Like it's not a candy, but it's just really a freaking ripe strawberry. One more of that and then we'll move on. Mmm, Becky, you good, you good girl. Mm. You know what I didn't see on this bottle? The PG VG ratio for you guys. <laughs> it's not on the box either, so is it on the website? I'd imagine these are higher VG. Anyway. But it doesn't look like it says it right available on the website either. Next, we're gonna try blue raspberry cotton candy. Mmm, smells like smells like cotton candy. Another good summertime vape because it reminds me of like cotton candy, fairs, carnivals, things like that, and that all happens in the warm months. At least for regions of the world that get all four seasons, like I do. And I haven't had like cotton candy in a really long time, actually. Now I just kind of want to have some cotton candy in real life but maybe this vape will like satisfy that craving hmm huh. a very light like blue raspberry flavor but you do get that like fluffy sugary cotton candy taste to it just I'm not it's not screaming blue raspberry it smells more like blue raspberry I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's a lighter blue raspberry than I would have thought it was gonna be, but the cotton candy's nice and fluffy and sweet, but not like gross, sickly sweet. So that's good, because sometimes e-liquids can get that way and they just like are like, oh, but like, your girl likes them. I just know that's not the popular opinion. Mmm. Why did I hold my hand up there? I don't know. I was like really intently trying to taste this flavor. Cause yeah, it is definitely a lighter um, blue raspberry flavor. The cotton candy's okay. Just I would want to see more blue raspberry flavor on that. Next we're doing King Cake. Mmm, ooh, this does smell like cake. Yum, yum, yum. This out of all of them, besides probably take the cake because that's like my flavor, this is probably the most closest to the types of vapes that I enjoy the most. Mmm, yum. So I'm definitely getting strawberry but like this spongy yellow vanilla type cake. Cause there is like, I'm getting like an aftertaste of a little bit of vanilla, but I don't know what king cake is. If that's just a title or if that's actually like an actual cake thing, I'm kind of almost getting like vanilla cinnamon vibes. So I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna Google king cake and see what comes up 
A king cake is a type of cake associated in a number of countries with the festival of Epiphany at the end of Christmas season. In other places, it is associated with the pre-Lenten celebrations of the Mardi Gras carnival. So, I mean, I'm seeing pictures, but it's not telling me the flavor. What are king cake flavored treats? Cinnamon and vanilla? Oh yeah. <laughs> so if this one freaking uh, Google site is right, then I got it right too, woohoo. That's hilarious. Cause I was just saying vanilla and cinnamon maybe, but I don't know king cake and look at that. Yeah, I'm good sometimes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And that just goes to show that the flavor is correct too, because someone who didn't know what king cake was, and those are the flavor notes that I picked out of the vape, and then come to find out that that is what the actual cake in real life is supposed to taste like. Good job. I, I kind of want the cake in real life now. Like those pictures looked really good. They were like yellow, green, and purple cakes too. So that was fun. I've never been to Mardi Gras. That would be really fun. But anyways, let's move on to the last flavor of today's video. We have Crack Dragon. And I picked this one because the other ones were kind of like closer in range to what we already tried because the strawberry kiwi we've already gotten the strawberry flavor the spearmint is mint and i don't like mint anyway and then take the cake one i just didn't want to try in the video because i don't know how fair that would be for me to try to judge someone else's strawberry cake better flavor when i love my uh, my flavor which is the same so <laughs> but i'm gonna try it off camera and tell them if they didn't know that i have that flavor oh yeah so this definitely smells like an energy drink i don't like energy drinks but i think i don't like spearmint more <laughs> so in a vape form yeah this just smells like an energy drink to me and they kind of all smell the same to me like monsters and red bulls and like they just all have that taste so i'm interested to see like what this tastes like so i've had energy drink vapes before too um not in a very long time because I've gotten extremely more picky over the years. But also, so more picky, but more open-minded to trying flavors that I don't necessarily like, but more picky as to like the flavors that I do like, you know? Here we go with Crack, crack Dragon. You know what? So it does taste like an energy drink. But I was going into this vape thinking like, it's a dragon fruit flavored energy drink. It's probably just gonna taste like plain old energy drink. Dragon fruit is such a light flavor and I can never really taste it in a flavor unless it's like one of two of the flavors or like just the main flavor is dragon fruit. And I'm happy to say that you can taste the dragon fruit in this. So shame on me for going into it thinking I wasn't going to taste any dragon fruit at all because I was pleasantly surprised. And you know what? It's not an overbearing, like, yucky energy drink flavor, but I can say yucky energy drink because I don't like them. Where you right now watching might absolutely love energy drinks and love the flavor of them, and that's cool. Like, everybody's taste buds are different. But um, if there was an energy drink that I needed to have, I would want it to taste, like, light and refreshing like this versus the sickly sweet, like I've had Monster and Red Bull in my day. <laughs> it's been years, years since your girl has had an energy drink. I mean, I'm talking maybe close to 10 years because I remember specifically the last time I had a Monster and that was the night of my senior prom. And I'm almost 10 years out of high school, so I'm sure I've had Red Bull since then because um, they make like alcohol drinks with it and I'm sure I've had one or two in my day. But uh, as far as Monster, <clears throat> just I'm sorry to anyone out there that likes Monsters or Red Bulls or any of the other types of energy drinks. I just can't like them. They're yucky and I don't need them for energy. I can just drink coffee because coffee does that for me. Coffee, I need some coffee <laughs> right now, by the way.
I'm digging the dragon fruit vibe. I think maybe the dragon fruit is what kind of settles down that like really intense energy drink flavor that I'm remembering that I don't like. I wonder if it'd be different now. Like if it's been so long, excuse me, I'm good. My nose has condensation. Um, I wonder if it's been so long since I've had an energy drink, like your taste buds change over time. I'm wondering if like maybe I would like it now. Like, like, like the flavor, who knows? Like, 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 like I'm saying like too much. Anyways, that's it for the video. I am going to try this flavor off camera. I'm sorry for anybody who wants to see the tea, but I don't think they'll be fair to the company. But it uh, smells really good. So just to give you guys that little spoiler alert, it smells pretty good, but you can't judge a flavor by its smell. So that's it for the video. Again, overcastliquids.com for these. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to go over to Overcast eLiquids. They also have an Instagram, maybe? Yes, they also have an Instagram, Overcast Vapor Lounge, and a Facebook, Overcast Vapor Lounge. And yeah, it reminds me of OvercastKids.com, which um, if you know what that is, don't Google it. If you know what that is, comment down below and we can be friends because I was an Overcast kid. I mean, I think I still have, like I'm still part of the website, but i uh, not actively in it. But like, Overcast Kid for life. <laughs> Doesn't have anything to do with the e-liquid, but... The name I was like, oh, yay, nostalgia for me. That's it. Give the video a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>